shoot galore. 120 pounds structure. The designer who built this, who made this. Yes, it's soothing for the eye. But how about those billions of people who haven't got shoes? Why couldn't we make that access? Or why don't we make that contribution to the others as well? Same way as we have made ourselves. Yes, questionable, please, people, remind yourself of not to be drawn into consumer confusion. Shoe district. All the shoes you want. So all the shoes you want, you can have it. How many can you wear? Going senseless and mindless with our, with our attitude to buying. Shoe capital, shoe district. Fans, the shoe capital, the shoe district of the Dubai Mall is sick. The shoes you want, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Mind bubbling setup of shoes. Fair work. We are at the Dubai Soup, the Dubai Mall. going to end ourselves at this rate of consumer explosion where we're going to end with this amount of waste where we're going to end with this amount of confusion in what do you want to buy well for me all ended long time ago I'm trying to see where we can actually arrive at. At this rate, everybody is carrying on to reach and arrive at, well, Gucci shoes in a cage. Shoes in an exclusive setup. Shoes in a very different arrangement. Tell me, my dear friends of the world, what do you do with the shoes? What do you do with the shoes of the world? How many shoes can you wear? designs can you wear? There are millions of children around the world, millions of humans around the world are without a pair of slippers to protect their feet. Yet the world can consume in this way to, to arrive at what degree of respect for the others. How can we say that we are doing good for humanity at this rate where the shoe can be costing about 10 to 15 thousand US dollars or some of them could be costing up to 1 million dollars and is that fair you think is that reasonable for humans to behave in this order I really don't know I leave for the viewer to think of there we are, Rupert Sanders. It's a beautiful gondola, beautiful display for shoes. 